Okay, welcome to this uh, short training video. It's going to be five minutes showing you how to connect up the LQ with the Cisco call manager. So that's going to be multiple channels up to eight. The LQ is a great device. It talks to the IVC32, it talks to other LQs, and it talks to mobile clients. But in this case, we're going to look at uh, the SIP accounts it's set up. In this case, talking to the Cisco call manager. We're going to first create a new user. That end user is going to be, uh, in this case, user 9000. It doesn't really matter what it is, it's just an extension that we can we can grab later uh, in the dial plan. User ID is 9000. Password in this case, I'm going to use uh, CUCM user, just because it's easy to remember. And it's going to need a last name. In this case, I'm just going to use that 9000 as the last name. The digest credentials are going to be the same. Uh, they're optional, as is the user locale, but it's just useful to add those in. We're going to save the end user configuration. And now we're going to create the actual device. Now the device has to be um, added as a third party advanced device that gives us the eight channels that we can associate eight directory numbers with. So uh, it's going to ask for a MAC address. We're going to actually just use all zeros with a one at the end if you have multiple devices added two or three. And we're going to make select the default. So it's going to be a third party SIP device advanced. Um, it's going to be in the default device pool, and the user ID is going to be 9000, that end user we just created. Then the SIP profile and the digest user is going to be 9000. So 9000 basically owns this, advice, this device. We're going to apply the config, and now we see on the top left we can add those multiple lines. So after we apply the, the config and hit OK, we're going to scroll back and add the first uh, DN, the first line. That first line is going to have the directory number of 9000. It's going to be the device, the end user we just created. And at the bottom here, we're going to associate end users. And what we're going to do is associate with that directory number, we're going to associate that user 9000 we just created. Okay, so the directory number and the user ID are going to be the same in this case. Once we go back to the end user, this end user 9000, we can go to device association, and you see that we're going to associate the device that has the directory number 9000 with it. Now when we scroll down on the end user 9000 to the primary extension, we see that we can actually have 9000 as the primary number that's associated with that directory number. Okay, I'm going to save this. I'm going to set the primary user device to that zip phone that we created. And in LQ, we're just going to go ahead and add a, a user, user 9000, password CMC user. The LQ assignment is going to be this LQ device, and you can see that that registered quite happily. Now what we want to do is we want to add the additional lines, lines 2 through 8, as many or as, as few as you need uh, in that range. So to do that is uh, a little more tricky. We have to create the end, an end user, 9001, 9002, whatever, associate that with the device, associate the device with the end user, and the important part is to remember that the LQ is going to need to be rebooted after we add these additional users. That's a Cisco thing that's required. So in this case, I'm going to use 9001 as the second uh, end user, and the same thing, I'm going to use the same password because you don't have to. I'm using 9001 as the last name, and saving that. Now I don't have to set up a new phone because I already have that phone, so I'm going to select that phone, go to line 2, add a new directory number. And in that directory number I'm going to use the same uh, ID, so 9001. Save that. And then again scroll down and go to associate end users. And I'm going to associate 9001, that user ID that we just created. I'm going to associate that with the device. Hit save. Now I can go to the 9001 uh, device, the 9001 user, excuse me. And what I can do is I can go to device association and now associate that 9001 directory number with the end user. And now the primary extension will allow me to make 9001 the primary extension, which is important. So now back in the LQ, I'm going to add 9001 as a user, CUCM user as a password, and the local LQ, you'll see that this will actually fail. This will fail, give me user not found. That's Cisco telling us that it's not working, but what we can do is we can reboot the LQ. The sequence is a little shortened, but we're going to reboot and we're going to check. 
And what we'll find is when the registration happens all at once, both of those lines are registered and happy. And you can do that for uh, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight if you if you want. You can have eight channels, uh, eight lines going from the LQ. Any questions, the technical team is here to help. Uh, go to clearcom.com and uh, follow the links.